So today we would like to showcase the results of two projects co-funded by the Department of Media, Connectivity and Digital Policy of the Luxembourg government. These two projects are about using the digital twin concept, which means that we are relying on both on data collected from sensors in the reality and data generated artificially from simulations or emulators. So let's have a look at these two technologies. Nilufa. Yes, so the first demo is called 5G Emit. 5G Emit is an online monitoring platform to simulate and monitor the electromagnetic field or so-called EMF level produced by 5G antenna. Uh, 5G antennas are different from previous generations, so that's the reason, um, uh, because they are active and dynamic. There is a need today for a platform to um, ensure the compliance with the regulatory framework for these uh, EMF levels. So we, the aim of this project is to facilitate the deployment, compliance and sustainability of 5G and future generations in Luxembourg. So let's take a look at what we have on this platform. So on this platform we have, this is a map of Luxembourg and these scattered red dots are base stations. So by easily zooming and clicking on each base station, we can have access to different transmitters from uh, different operators and the frequency bands that they are using. So um, we also used collected data from several fixed sensors to validate our simulation models. So the first uh, graph that you can see here, the black one, is showing the total EMF value. And the green one is showing um, the EMF level for 5G antennas, and which is showing the dynamicity of the antennas. As we can see, the graph is uh, so variable. Here also the red line we can see this is uh, the limit which has been established uh, by the government. So as we can see here, this difference, the, the graphs showing um, the EMF value are below the limits. Sebastian here, could you please explain more about these fixed sensors? Yes, sure. So basically this monitoring platform, this monitoring and simulation platform obviously relies on digital uh, and, uh, well, let's say numerical models, right? We are training simulation tools behind, we are training quite a lot of artificial intelligence models and of course we need to rely on data. So all this data is collected currently through sensors, so we have four sensors in the project and our objective, is, our objective is of course to extend the number of sensors in the future so we would like to open this platform to other stakeholders so that uh, well, the platform can benefit from more uh, measurements and uh, data. And here you can have a look at uh, well, the sensors we have currently. So this is an example of uh, well, a sensor uh, that is made by, uh, in collaboration with uh, IMEC. This is made by IMEC. And uh, here you can see, for instance, in real time, uh, a data collection done uh, with another sensor. So voilà, this was the, the, the first demo and uh, now I would invite you, Nilufa, to, to present the results of the, yes. the, the second project. Yet another interesting project called 5G Planet. 5G Planet is a platform to demonstrate the capabilities of 5G to the general public. What we are offering is testing before investing. So using different simulators, emulators and physical sensors and elements, uh, people can uh, have a better understanding of what this technology is. By uh, using the emulators, we can um, reproduce a 5G network in a laboratory and uh, we can also simulate in a small scale scenario uh, the potential of 5G uh, for an application like connected mobility. So we, with, for that we emulate three technologies, 3G, 4G, 5G, to show the impact uh, and the concept of latency in connected cars. Sebastian? Yes, yeah, so sure, we have developed uh, an application. So this is just an example of what we, we have done in this project, 5G Planet. Uh, in this scenario, indeed, we are uh, demonstrating what is connected mobility, what can be the benefits of uh, connected mobility uh, uh, used uh, together with 5G. And what you can see here through this application, where well, we are relying on a 5G network to do that, when I'm uh, pushing this button, it's super reactive. You know, there is no latency on uh, experience on the car. So basically, there is no delay between uh, the time when I uh, 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 push the button and uh, the time when the control is received on the car. Uh, but of course, if I use a 3G network, for instance, so this is an emulation now, uh, there is a delay. And this delay, well, can basically lead to an accident. 
So this is really what we try to showcase in that kind of project. Uh, we try to use very visual demonstrations, very visual uh, things to explain to a very large public what is 5G, what is the interest of connected mobility, and then to explain the concept of latency, for instance. So we are doing that today for 5G. We would like to do the same tomorrow for advanced uh, connectivity solutions like 5G+, like 6G. We're already working on that. So the wheels are in motion. <laughs>